Welcome to Revit 2020 Basic Architectural Modeling Session 1, Part 3. My name is Dr. Wong Chi Hong. In this video, I'm going to explain status, wheels, and option bars interface in Revit 2020. Quick access toolbar. It's located top of the window contains mostly used tools like save, undo, and redo, as well as commands that are frequently used. You can add and remove any commands from this bar. To add a tool, right-click it and select Customize Quick Access Toolbar. To further customize the Quick Access Toolbar, Click on the arrow at the end of the toolbar and select Customize Quick Access Toolbar. You can also use this dialog to move tools on the toolbar separator and to move the Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon so that more tools can display. Option Bar Located below the ribbon, display tool specific to the selected object or active tools. This bar appears when creating new elements or using certain commands. For example, if I switch the window to a 3D model, I click on the wall. The option bar shows I have select and going to modify the wall. Properties. It displays all available information for the selected object in the model. Changes to the elements in the model can be made here. For example, if I select the wall in the property palette, it shows the properties of the selected wall. I can also change the properties of the wall here by go down to the editor drop down. Project browser. If the project browser grouped with property palette, you can ungroup it and dot it to the right side of the drawing area or move it to the second monitor if you wish. To ungroup, click the title bar of the project browser window and drag it into the drawing area to the right. You can even move the window to a second monitor if you wish. The project browser on sitting is used to access wheel, seat, family, scheduled, regions and groups. For instance, in video, I selected level 2, 3D view and west elevation from the project browser. Each selection gives you a single view. To open a several views, click the views from the ribbon and then select tile wheels. From there you can modify or change the property of select element in the 3D views and to see the updates on other views. For example, if I change the curtain walling to timber panel in the 3D model you will see changes will automatically reflect on west elevation and level 2 floor plan. Click tape wheels in the ribbon to go back to the previous view or the view have selected in the view. To delete other views, click close inactive in ribbon.
The Wheel Cube is a clickable and draggable interface tools that allow you to switch between standard and isometric views of your model. If the view cube is not available in your 3D view, go to the user interface drop down, make sure the view cube is selected. Alternatively, click file type option, click the view cube tab, select show the view cube and click OK. View control bar located bottom of the project environment it has setting for the current view contain option to adjust the architectural scale and visual properties of the active view this is where you make adjustment to your view there are selection details the graphic display option the scale and each cropped regions you can also see hidden elements and bring it back if needed. Now let's take one example to show how it works. Highlight the topography in the model. Click on the temporary height, isolate view and select height element. You will notice that the topography view is now disappeared. The function allows you to see better of 3D model if topography is not required in the model view. You can undo this by resetting the temporary height isolate or by control Z. Status bar. The status bar provides tips or hints on what to do when you highlight add elements or components the stated bar display the name of the family and types. For example, if I click on the roof of the 3D model, the stated bar below show the roof element has been selected in a, the 3D model. Selection tray. It's allowed you to decide what you select and let you decide what you can or cannot select. A red cross on the symbol means that the selection category is disabled. For example, if I disable selection element by face, I click on timber cladding, curtain walling and floor in the model, no selection has been made because there are surface elements and the status bar doesn't show all this object from the click. The icon on the right let you filter element if you were to make a selection with multiple items options. We now finish all the user interface feature in Revit 2020. Thank you for watching and please follow part 4 how to create wall and other architectural elements in basic architectural modeling.